hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is helena and this is my queendom i have not said that in a long time anyway if this is your first first time joining me if you've never seen my videos before and this is your first time i am a liberian living in the usa i was and i relocated to liberia three months ago okay so this is my update three months update of how I'm doing here in Liberia. So I posted on my um, YouTube community tab and I said, um, it's been a while now, let me read it. I said, I can't believe it's almost 90 days. I posted this a week ago. I can't believe it's almost 90 days since I returned home to Liberia. I'm doing a Q&A video, which is this video. This is the Q&A video. Please send in your, your cues questions and i will provide a the answers with a glass of wine of course so you know i ain't gonna forget that wine <laughs> god forbid leave all your questions right under the post so i thank you all who left your questions and if you do have more questions after this you can you know we have to probably do another q a because I, I got a lot of questions so i will hope to get through it because i don't want the video to be exceptionally long i want it to be you know comfortable for you where I can answer your questions but before we get started let me lay out a disclaimer okay we have to lay out a disclaimer this is my disclaimer I'm not encouraging anybody to move to Liberia or wherever you want to move to I'm not encouraging you I'm just sharing my story so if my story inspires you to move then that's good but I'm not going to encourage you because let me get into the Liberian English. I don't want to tell you, say, come to Liberia. And you come and start living like you, you're the son or daughter of Bill Gates. And you get broke. Then you have to go back quick. And then you go out, you go back and you say, hey, the woman lied to me. Or she said, like, bro, all right, I went there, I suffered. Yeah, I had to come back. So I am sharing my story, how I'm living. Okay, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm not pretending or anything. How I'm living is what I'm sharing with you. I live simply so if that inspires you and you want to move back great if you want to come for a visit love it that's my disclaimer okay all right now let's get into the video first let me open my wine okay what I'm drinking today is Frontera Cabernet Sauvignon I hope I said it right but I'm drinking it anyway I used to drink the sweet red but you know people change things change so I'm changing <laughs> so I'm gonna open it. Ah, grab your tea, grab your water, grab your juice, grab something strong, depending on the time of the day you have. And, and let's let's get into this video. Let me pour my wine. Cause we need some we need wine for this for these questions, you know, especially some questions I see here. We need wine for it. So <laughs> let me pour just a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I got my water here too because you know we have to hydrate we have to hydrate and we have to to chill I got my glasses here just in case I can see ah oh, let me get comfortable mm-hmm first question from Lucy Espila if I misspell your if I mispronounce your name I'm very sorry you know I got some I got people from all over so some names will be challenging for me but I'm, I'll try my best I'll try my heart my best from Lucy Espella said, what inspired you to move back home? And what would be your message to Africans in the diaspora on how they can support the growth of sub-Saharan Africa? Wishing you all the best from Nairobi, Kenya. Enjoy the wine. Yes, girl. I am. I will. First off, what inspired me to move back home? It's home. Simply is home. And I've gotten to the point where um, I got to a stage in my life where I needed to be back home. Okay? That's what I'm going to say. I needed to be back home because things started to aggravate me. Little things started to aggravate me. Uh, I was a different person. I wasn't as bubbly as I am. And it was changing my, it was changing my personality. So I didn't like that. I was getting depressed. Actually, I was depressed. Not diagnosed, but I was depressed. Yeah. 
I didn't find joy in things and I needed to just change that whole situation. So, whom it is, as you can see, don't need to tell you. All right, so thank you. Thank you, Lucy, for the question. Next question. On your daily commute, are you seeing a lot of new roads construction? First of all, I don't commute daily. As I said, simple life. I'm not working yet. I'm not working. I'm not even looking. <laughs> I'm resting. I'm not working, so I don't commute daily. I may go to town once a week. Or maybe once every two weeks. I'm comfortable here. So I don't commute daily. But when I go to town, I see some road construction or like a, a section of road that i see they're working on so i know but in Ghanasville, on the road there they are something they've been working on for a couple of years now i know it's going on any traffic over there mm -mm. i haven't been there since i've been here no so i know there's stuff but what i do see it's a lot of um building constructions a lot of a lot of um apartments entertainment housing a lot a lot and it's encouraging so yeah that was from oh the question was from the time is now so thank you for the question um another question one question the next question is from cdf giddings almost like edith but cdf giddings she said first auntie helen you my by force auntie no i am your auntie not by force as long as i'm librarian you librarian your auntie yo. so no by force here okay i'll take you you my niece I must say thank you for sharing your journey with us. My questions are, the girl got questions. Hey, hey, she got questions though. Where is that? My questions are, how long did it take you to transition to Liberia from conception to execution? Good questions, girl. Number two, how did you financially prepare for this transition? Very good question. How are you generating income back home? And then you jump from three to five. What happened there? Then you go from five to four. See this? See this? See this? You gotta, you gotta number your stuff right. <laughs> so she go, how are you generating income back home? And then she goes to five. We should be four. What are some pros and cons of living outside of Monrovia? And then we should be five is four now. You see this? See this? You messing with my brain. As someone in their late 20s with interest in moving back home in the near future, what advice would you give me? I have more questions, but I'll let others ask their questions and save them for the next Q&A. Thanks again, Auntie Helena. Auntie Helen. Yeah, you will save that one for the next one. You already asked me five questions. Okay, let's start with one. Hey, let me take a sip of wine for this girl. Hey, hey. Yeah, ask question. All right, see this. First one, how long did it take you from transition to um, to take you to transition to Liberia? It took me the first time I visited was in 2007. So yeah. It took me basically 13, 13 years. So you have to be mentally, you have to transition mentally before you can physically transition. For me, that's what happened. I transitioned here mentally. So my heart was here. Why is that bad way beeping when I just charged this thing? Oh God, <laughs> don't let me be great. Anyway, I will be looking at it. I just charged it, the beeping. So I transitioned here mentally, but 13 years ago. And then I've been trying to physically transition here gradually, gradually until last year. Okay. So how did you financially prepare for this transition? Hmm, girl. I wish I was in my 20s. I started in my 20s. I'm telling you. I just started preparing two years ago, like religiously preparing two years ago. Okay. You know, battery. I had to change it. But anyway, how long did it take you to transition to library? I told you, you know, it was like a 13 years thing. Mentally, I was mentally transitioned before I started to physically transition. Um, how did you financially prepare? I saved everything. I saved everything. I started saving like seriously saving two years ago and i save i cut down my spending i just did basics and i save and i save i had a target in mind because i know i'm still out in my prime i can still work i can still generate income so i wasn't trying to make i wasn't trying to save everything that i would need for the rest of my life before i come home 
that it wouldn't happen because you know mm -mm, no it wouldn't happen i knew it wouldn't happen for me so i saved enough i saved just enough that i'll be able to survive for the next couple of years if i didn't work i'll be okay so i saved just enough that's it but if i had started earlier i would have saved like mm. but anyway we're gonna leave that alone <laughs> how are you generating generating income back home um, I just came with um, certain amount that I that I knew I would need for the time I'm here, and, and I've, I haven't sent for money, so I've been I've been doing okay. I even had a birthday when I came to a birthday party, a big party, and I have not sent for money, and I'm okay. All right. <clears throat> the heat is getting hot in here with all these questions, so let me just pay myself. Ah, uh, and what else? What are some pros and cons of living outside of Monrovia? I'm in Magibi, so I'm 30 minutes away from Central Monrovia. Pros, pros, more pros. It's quiet. I like my quiet. It's fresh air. No, I said quiet again, right? It's quiet, it's quiet, and it's quiet. It is just, it's just quiet. It's not too many people. It's not congested because it's a new area. So it's, it's just fine. It's just, it's just, it's just a pro. Okay. And a con would be that, um, you, it could be a pro or a con, depending how you look at it. Your family can come just pop in and visit because this place is too far. Let me put this thing down first. I'm pointing at you. <laughs> the place is too far. So before you can come here, you have to call me. I have to be here. I have to be ready for you. Because if you pay your way three times to get here, I'm not here, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. So that can be a pro, that can be a con, depending on how you look at it. I'm just going to leave it right there. I want my family to call me and say, oh, you said that like, good thing, you fire no They know I love them, but... <laughs> I need my private time. All right, so then, what's the question? As someone in their late 20s with interest of moving back home in the, in the near future, what advice will you give me? Girl, start preparing. You will live a much, much better life. Start preparing now. Start saving your money. Don't spend so much. Don't worry about Black Friday. Don't worry about the cyber money don't worry about all the little gimmicks to get you to spend your money save save and save and if you can come for a visit come for a visit if you can get land get your land because it'll be cheaper for you now before you're ready to come home you'll be all set okay all right i know you got more questions <laughs> we'll do another q a all right thank you cdf all right, Emmanuel Jackson. Will you be leaving soon? Your stay, your stay is extended. Don't rush me out of here. I'm not leaving soon, okay? <laughs> I am not leaving soon. I don't want to go back. <sighs> no, I'm not leaving soon. I'm leaving the next two months. Just for a quick visit, I'll be right back. So I'm, I'm going to be here. But, now if, if you still got stuff I mean, I'm speaking USA because that's where I'm from. If things are not under control and you're still playing games over there with the COVID and with, you know, whatever going on, I said, I won't call her name. I will extend my time here and stay. Just so you know. Okay. All right. Quint Quintina Dory. Oh, my girl. Girl. When are you visiting the US? Will you be able to bring some dry fish and shrimp for us to purchase? <laughs> More wife for Helena. Let me step up my wine first before I address your dry fish situation. Girl, no. I can't bring dry fish. It's a process. You have to get the fish. You have to make sure it doesn't smell. You got to wrap it and wrap it extraordinarily. And then you got to go get a certificate. Then you got to get to the airport and pretend you don't have a certificate. You got to start robbing people at the airport before you can get your fish out. Then when you get to the USA, you gotta pretend you don't have fish so you can get it through and if they find the fish, they're gonna throw it away right before you. It's a process. It's a process. I think I still got fish at home. So if you really need dry fish, okay? It's a promise to you, <laughs> since you're my girl. If you really need dry fish when I get there and I, I still got fish in the freezer, I will send you some while I'm there, but don't let me go through all the hardship of bringing fish, okay? I hope you understand. I know you love your shrimp. I love my shrimp too. But when you can't visit, we eat a shrimp here. I break in shrimp. Are we good? All right. Next, for success only, I was told that Liberia's cost of living is somewhat higher than the other surrounding countries. Is that true? 
I can only speak for Liberia because um, I really don't know. I can only speak for Liberia and I can't even speak for the other. Like, I can only speak for myself. Uh, as you can see when I go to the market, what I spend and how I spend my money and all that. So you know, you know, you, I'm very, you know, particular and budget, budget conscious. So now the place can be expensive and you can live cheap. You can live like a local, you can live like a foreigner. I'm living like a local. Maybe a little higher than a local. But yeah, I'm living comfortably and I'm all right. So I don't know about Africans, I don't know about Guinea, I don't know about those countries. I was in the Africans when I was younger, but as an adult, I don't know about them because I've not lived there. But in Liberia, you can live higher, you can live medium, you can live lower. You choose your level, okay? It's keep your lane, stay in your lane, keep your lane, choose your lane. <laughs> Tamba Bando says what was the most interesting places you ever saw what's the similarities when it comes to American and Liberian food cultures and activities hey let me drink one for this one Jesus similarities Liberian food and American food let me sip on this one first of all let's start with the first question interesting places Maryland County, some parts of Maryland County. I was born and grew up in Maryland County, but you know, I was young. I didn't go to those places. So as an adult now that I get to go to those places, beautiful. Fishtown, ugh. Middletown, gorgeous. Rocktown, the other places behind Kavala. Mm. I love water, so everywhere around the water. You know, and of course, Harper City. I was born in Harper City. So, still interesting to me. Now, your question about similarities when it comes to American and Liberian food. Let me tell you something. <laughs> what are we comparing here? Fufu and soup to wetting. We're comparing palm butter with all the ingredients to wetting. Potato greens to what? Color greens to what? I mean, what are we preparing here? What are we comparing? I was in, I, I mean, I, I lived in the U.S. for 23 years. And I cook my own food. I cook my Liberian food. Because I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I can't compare Liberian food to American food because mm, no comparison there. Okay, it's close. And uh, cultures, it's different. The lifestyle is different. The lifestyle there is different. You focus on yourself there. We all here, we focus on the community, you know. We move as a whole. We are our brother's keepers. Yes, we keep our, <laughs> we are our brother's keepers. So it's different activities. When we hang out, we don't rush. We relax. We relax. We got our activities here. I can walk five minutes uh, and view the, the, the sunrise, the sunset. I can stay in front of my house and, and see the sunrise. I can walk down the hill and, and sit by the water. I can walk 15 minutes and be on the beach. I can take 10 minutes walk or 20 minutes walk and 10 minutes drive and be at the pool. We got activities. I can go to Morovia and I'm overwhelmed with activities. We got activities here. All right, so that's that. So, loading girl, loading girl. Oh, God. Mm. Loading girl, I'm going to do your question now. I'll come back to it later because I have a question. <laughs> loading girl, loading girl asks Watching your, your states, watching your view, your journey through Liberia on YouTube has been very inspiring to me, which is what I try to do to inspire you, not to, not to force you, no, force you. <laughs> you stay there, don't force, don't force. Anyway, too funny, too funny okay um thank you you are welcome darling my questions are what are your family in parentheses husband children grandchildren etc what etc cats dogs <laughs> what's the etc girl aunties uncles everybody gotta agree shoo anyway thoughts on your move to liberia will you encourage more liberians to return home why lastly what is your favorite place county to visit in liberia <laughs> <sighs> Hold up. Let me sip some wine first. They okay, can okay, ask questions. All right, loading. Loading girl. Of course, my favorite county would be Maryland County. I was born there. I grew up there. My next favorite would be Grand Coup County. That's where my father is from. My mother is from Maryland County. My father is from Grand Coup County. So, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Maryland and Grand Coup. <laughs> Why am I Why am I smiling? This is terrible. <laughs> Now, will you encourage more librarians to return home? I'm not encouraging you to return home. No, 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 no. They will return home. Something will bring them home. 
I'm going to show you my, I'm going to share with you my journey. And if you are inspired and you want to return home, it's up to you. But I'm not encouraging you to return home. I'm just inspiring you to, to know that you got a country and love your country. That's why I'm inspiring you. I'm not encouraging you. You will come yourself. You will come. <laughs> Thoughts on this that the questions are what is your or what the family thing, huh? Let's start from the grandchildren. What do you think about my move to Liberia? Well, I got well, I got two grandchildren with one coming, so it'll be the third one be coming next month. So I, I got three grandchildren. One is still yeah, not out yet. But anyway. One is one year old. She ain't got no idea. She, I was with her and then she's she going to see me on WhatsApp now. So, yeah. The first grandson, Dominic, he's seven years old. He knows about, you know, he knows my grandma is in Liberia. I know grandma is from Liberia. We're all from Liberia. So, he's cool with that. I actually started doing YouTube videos because of he started to be brainwashed now. Coming home and asking some questions that our phone that was just like very disgusted. Like, that's that, the question. That's what they tell you about Africa. All right, so when I was coming for a visit, I said, well, I'm going to bring a camera and I'm going to record my journey so he can see Liberia and know that the stories that they're telling them is not the stories. It's not what it is. It's been brainwashed. So that's how I started doing YouTube. So you think you're, you're saying thanks to Dominic. Thank Dominic. Dominic, thank you. The people thank you. Okay, so he's cool. He wants to come. But you know, he's seven years old. Mommy has to bring him or daddy and mommy got to agree to bring him. You know, we ain't going through all that. So if he's if they, they bring him that's fine if they don't if he's 18 years old that's like 11 years from now if he's 18 year, years old and he wants to come to come visit oh i'll love it i'll even pay his way dominate if you're 18 and you want to come visit i'll pay your way grandma will pay your way to come visit and he loves Liberian food he will wake up in the morning and say grandma i want to eat your food today what does he want fish fried fish rice okra in it with rare palm oil he loves it. He loves pepper soup with rice. He loves the color, the banana color. He just loves it. He started eating fufu lately. So you know I got the boy. Or you know I got him covered. All right? So he loves all that. So he's okay. When he's older, he wants to come. I'll pay his way. He will come. So yeah. So they're okay. Um, oh, we have we got past to the questions. Let me take a sip of the wine again. God, the girl made me drink all the wine. My children are grown. Okay? I got four grown children. Four daughters. Four grown daughters. Okay, and I mean, some of them want to come. I mean, they all want to come visit because when <laughs> they see that mommy having the best time, and they want to come visit. So eventually, they will come visit. So they are okay. I mean, this is an alternative for them. That if America doesn't work out, if they start to get on your nerves, you can come visit or you can come stay here for the longest. You can go back wherever. You can do whatever you want to do. So it's okay with them. And we say, husband, one minute, one minute, one minute, one second. You want to know what my husband thinks? I'll get back to you. Hold on, hold on. I need more wine for that. I told you we're asking serious questions. Ah, you hear that sound? That means pouring more wine. I need more wine for that. Want to know what my husband thinks? Hold up, hold up. Cheers. Ah, what does my husband think? Next question, please. Thank you, Lodi. Next. Corny. <laughs> Corny Aquino. She said, I really want to go to Liberia to meet my lover. Really? Does Liberia have many interesting places to visit? Is the cost of living in Liberia expensive? First of all, Corny, you're coming to see your lover. So your lover should have all these details for you. Your lover should know all the interesting places to take you. Okay? So make sure that lover can take you out and show you all the nice places. There are very nice places here. Your lover better take you. If not... <laughs> Next! <laughs> Betty Boo. Betty, Betty Ben with me here from day one. She's my MVP. Betty says, are you going to start a business in Liberia? First of all, for those that don't know, I am a registered nurse, so I got my bachelor's in nursing, and then I got a master's degree in public health, okay? And then uh, four years ago or three years ago, I started my own business, all natural hair, skincare, Moringa products, I started my own business. 
So I've been doing that and working at the same time. So uh, while I'm here, I'm checking things out, evaluating, doing my research and see what would work here. Like some of my products won't work here because it's hot. I use shea butter and I think we melt for body butter. Mm -mm. Most of the time I just, you know, I just, you know, use, uh, barely use anything. And, you know, you, I'm, I just glow with, with nothing most of the time. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm just trying to figure out what I can do. I do have oil for your face and that can work here and it works very nicely. So I'm trying to figure out what can, what will work here and what won't work here. Then I will, you know, transition over, transition my business over. So yes, eventually I will start a business here. Cause this girl want to work for herself. Just so, you know, if you didn't know that, then I don't know. <laughs> but if you got a good job out there for me, don't worry, I'll work for you. <laughs> Woo! The questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, David Cole, David Corden. Hi, Helen. I have two questions. If that's okay, that is okay. Considering the value of land varies throughout the country, would you be able to guesstimate? Guess and estimate an amount of money to buy a plot of land and build a three bedroom house in Maryland and Maserato. You want to build in Maryland and Maserato, or you want to build in Maryland or Maserato? I'm assuming it's Maryland or, so I will answer that. What's the best way to protect your property from looters and squatters if you live in another country while building your property? I appreciate any information you can provide. Thank you. Okay, let me estimate based on Maserado. Oh my Gibby. Maryland, I only got land there. I haven't built there. But it'll probably be the same thing because Maryland to get there, um, to get those things there will be costly. So yeah. To buy a plot of land, assuming one lot. You want to buy one lot. Anywhere in my Gibby, not anywhere in my Gibby. I mean, back there, I'm back at the airport, like I show you, Charlesville, the other areas. You pay some anything around one thousand for one lot. Me personally, I don't like one lot. I love land, so I will buy one acre, so I can play. I can have enough room to grow my stuff and to to play, to have fun. So if you want to buy one lot, it will cost you one thousand. Okay, estimating now, it could be more because you got to survey the lands on you. They to be a three bedroom house. Everything it, de it depends on your taste, what you want in your house. You know, you can build your house simply from twenty thousand. That's simply to fifty thousand. Some people will spend hundred thousand, depending on what you want in your house, the finishes and all that stuff. How many, how many layers you want, what other stuff? You said three bedroom. So I would plan for anywhere from twenty, twenty to fifty thousand. That's just estimating. You know, things prices go up. They never go down. They go up, you know. So that's that. Between twenty and fifty thousand. If you add a land to it, maybe one thousand five because you gotta solve it the land all that. Now how do you what's the best way to protect your property from looters and squatters? Now you're not gonna do your investment and just walk away from it. Uh uh. Somebody will correct your mistake. So you wanna have somebody like what I did with Part D. You have to build like a warehouse. Because that's the same warehouse you use when you're building to keep your stuff in it. You want to have somebody credible. Like a little old man who's not working. That's how you can help out by employing people. So he will help, he will protect your property. You, and then you have to send him something every month, send them something. You can't put somebody in your, in your place and then you leave them alone. Mm -mm. So I have a D here. I try to have a D, I have Anthony here. And then I was taking care of them every month. So that way they take care of the yard. If somebody come busy and they say, yeah, I ain't clean, I'm calling them. So I was paying them. So they were on salary, they've been on salary since how many years now. Okay, you have to you have to save for that because you're helping somebody at the same time, you're protecting your property. Usually this party will call me or somebody will call me quick and say, oh, people doing survey, whatever, party here, he know every part of the land. So he, yeah, he protects the land. So you have to find somebody who will protect your property. So that way nobody will come loot, nobody will go squat because you got somebody there and you're taking care of the person. Okay. That was a muscle rider. Maryland would be the same thing, the same thing. It would be the same thing. All right, thank you, David. Now let's go to for success online. Do you, do you recommend building a home or buying? If you find a nice house that meets your standard and the price is right, mm, see you save yourself a lot of stuff. Me personally, I like my own design. I'm just particular like that. So I like to build my own stuff. But if you find something nice, go for it. If the price is right. Otherwise, build your own house. Yeah, my new. What do you miss most about the states? 
Hmm. Just the ability to just walk in the house and switch the light on and the, turn the AC on. I miss that. But not enough. <laughs> I miss that but not enough well right now I do have you know my own generator so it's the same thing when I calculate how much I spend for fuel it's like 200 dollars a month so in the states I will pay more for electricity the only, the only difference is here you know the process you know you got to go buy your own gas you know you got to you, you got to you got to service your machine so you know where your electricity is coming from over there you you, you read it you know that's a great you know they got a company they, they take care of it for you and you just switch the thing so you still paying money that's the difference so but as i said not enough <laughs> i don't make say enough <sighs> abraham Moore, what make you want to move back i think i already addressed that it's home at the stage in my life it was the right thing to do and i did it that's how i operate <laughs> okay uh betty betty say betty boo say what's going on with your chickens and chicken coop do you still plan on raising chicks Chickens are here. I don't eat chicken. I really don't eat chicken. I got chickens. I think about, I check with Paddy. He, he takes care of that. He got, I got about 15, I think about 15 chickens. We have to move them from the warehouse to the, to the, to the, the coop that I built. It's a process. I think he said they moved there, but I don't think they completely moved there. By the time I wake up in the morning, the chickens are gone. They're going to go hustle. So I haven't recorded the chickens because, you know, this girl ain't going to wake up too, too early now. The chickens can wake up way early. It's still dark out there. They wake up. Mm -mm -mm. So one of these days I may record them and then when I do my videos I do have chickens going around and those are my chickens. <sighs> but to do it as a business, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. Mm -mm. I don't know, I don't think so. But we never know. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it out there like that. Ah, oh, you guys making me hot in here. <laughs> Does Liberia allow dual citizenship? That's from William Way. What's a good time to come visit? Liberia does not allow dual citizenship for now. However, if you are a Liberian, nothing stopping you from coming home. <laughs> yeah? You just set in offices you can't hold. And you want government job and all those things. Yeah, you can't do that. But you can come home. That's your home. That's your country. <laughs> Why not? What's a good time to come visit? Anytime is good. If you like rain, come rain season. If you like, if you like the beach, come Christmas time. Is the <laughs> Christmas time is lit over here? Christmas time, okay? That's why everybody come for visit. So the place can be crowded, congested, traffic. <laughs> but anytime is good. If you like mango, come April. You enjoy the mango. Sometimes I used to come April just for mango. Can you believe that? <laughs> That's how I am. Anyway, um, tene, tene, for me, tene, for me here, tene. You still did not answer my question last time. How long was the flight? The flight was one hour and a half from Maryland to Monrovia. And you want to know the best time to visit? Oh, April. Oh, April is nice. And they got mango in April, girl. If you want to come April, it's best time. I always give me April. Mango. Mango city. <laughs> yep. Sarah Slays, what are some businesses that is needed to improve? I have to wash that battery. Mm, it's still looking good. What are some businesses that is needed to improve Liberia that people in the diaspora can probably support or start? We have to be able to feed ourselves. Feed ourselves. We have to be able to feed ourselves. So I think agriculture. If you can kind of get a little farmland, start something, plant corn, plant whatever, and you can plant tomatoes. I went to the market and hop I was like, where am I buying tomatoes from the Africa so we got the same land? But anyway, don't get me started. So agriculture is good. Agriculture and other businesses too. You can do some other businesses. A lot of things you can do here, but you have to come and then you see how things are and see what you want to put, get involved in. Afric lioness as, as a foreigner wanting to be wanting to maybe relocate to Liberia with a family and want to start a business is that a question girl girl <sighs> as a foreigner wanting to relocate I, I wouldn't say relocate you have to you have to know where you're gonna relocate come for a visit just come visit the place see the place because you can be you can see videos and, and, and for me I'm a Liberian so I can fit right in and blend in. 
But you may, you may not like it. You may not like the heat. You may not like certain things. And then you've already relocated. Then you have to go back. That's not nice. So come for a visit. Enjoy yourself. Come with some money just in case you come for a visit and you want to buy a land. Then that's two birds, three birds with one stone. I like, I like killing more birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So come for a visit. And then when you come for a visit, and then you take it from there. And then Tenen asks Tenen for, for me here and say, how, how is the water conditions? Do you have running water? Yes, Tenen. I got running water that I provide myself. See? Yeah, well, yeah, we know where our water came from. We know where our current came from. <laughs> so I do have a well. And the well, we got a sump pump in the well. So we use the generator. And it pumps the water up to the water tower. I have a tank, a, a black, I think I've shown it before. There's a black tank, water tank up. So it goes up, we pump it up. In the morning, I'm sleeping when Anthony does his thing. So I don't know, I open the faucet and water come out. But anyway, so the water goes up and then and I open the first set, water come out. So water's in the kitchen, water's in the bathroom, water's outside, there's a pump outside, I have to lock it because you know the neighbors will be walking and we just open the pump and, and take water. Even though the way is available to them. Yeah, so I do have my own running water that I provide myself. And if you don't pump water that probably lasts for two, three weeks. But we try to keep it full. And Joey starts saying, I want to move back to Liberia. What would be the best county to move to besides Monrovia? <laughs> Child of Zion said Maryland County, of course. He like Maryland County. Um, um, I would say, let me tell you what I would say, honestly speaking. If you want to move back to Liberia, the best county. Right now I'm in Magibi. I'm 30 minutes from Monrovia, from central Monrovia, from Maserado. Actually, I'm a few minutes from Maserado. The border is right there. And that's fine. I would like to be somewhere where um, I have access to things that I need. I need access to the international airport. I need access to medical care. I'm healthy. I keep myself healthy. But life can happen anytime. You may need emergency care. So as much as I love Maryland County, as much as I love being in the counties, I wouldn't say go move there now. See how my hand going like this? I'm advising you all. I would say find somewhere closer to, to, to Mosserado, like Bummy. I haven't been to Bummy, but wherever the pavement stop, that's where, <laughs> that's where you should stop. Basso, you know, we in Magibi. Magibi, Grand Basso, Bon County. You can go as far as Ganta, the space, all the way there. So that way, three hours you can come back. Three hours, you, you know, you need to think about those things, have access to things you need. I was in Maryland and I was like, the access to internet was a challenge, so I couldn't wait to come to Monrovia. Yes, couldn't wait. <laughs> so yeah, so you gotta think about all that stuff. Yep. And then I think this is the final question. A lot of people like it. Do you have to be Liberian to own land? How are house rent over there? So everybody that I have asked, I didn't want to give you the wrong information. Everybody that I asked, as long as you are of African descent, so that means where people can buy land here. They can lease the land, but they can't buy it. As long as you are of African descent, yes, you can buy your land. So if you want to buy land, come visit. Bring your money for your land. And then why are you enjoying yourself? Buy your land before you go back. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can. House rent. I've never rented. Since I've been coming, I've always had my own place. I have my place um, in um, a hotel Africa. I had a place for the erosion over there was. <laughs> So I got this place. So I've always built something. I'm like, I'm that kind of person. I'm that kind of person. I'm, I'm, I'm just, how do I put it? I'm just like fiercely independent and pride. I got my pride. I don't like to stay in somebody's house. So I've never rented, but I know people rent. And depending on where you want to rent, you can, you can be from 150 to 1000 plus. I'm telling you. They got places in Sinko, you pay a thousand plus every month. They got expensive places here. But this, those are nice places. I wish I had a place in Sinko. <laughs> I'll be, I'll party every weekend. Because everything is right there. Walking distance. So yeah, so it's expensive. Okay. 
So, but then if you're gonna rent a house, you can rent a house, you can rent a room, you can, they got apartments. I tell you, apartments going up, houses going up. So this, um, you have, you can rent this. Um, people do six months, one year, you know, a yearly rent you pay. If you pay 150 a month and you pay a whole year, that's, 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 that's cheap. But I don't rent, yeah? I just build small something. All right, so this is a lot of, lot of comments on this question. Oh, Charles Zion, thank you very much. He really went in there and answered questions. See, a library don't sell it to white people, just, you know, black people. That's the law. I ain't making it. I'm just listening. <laughs> yep. If you are born in Liberia and you're not an American citizen, my dear, nothing stopping you. I stay in Liberia, stay in your country. Even though no dual citizenship, nothing. <laughs> come, come home. Come visit. it. Do whatever you want to. You're Liberia. You don't lose your accent. Don't bring no play the series here. <laughs> Uh, depending on the business you want to start here, yeah, if you're not a librarian, you just go through the process. People, business people do business people here that aren't librarians, so nothing stopping. Mm -hmm. Already, what other things here? Business, 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 uh, business. Come visit, see the place. All right, so let me conclude here. So we don't have a five five hundred hours video, okay? So conclusion. It's been, uh, let me give my little thoughts, then I'll conclude. It's been 90, actually three months now since I've been home, and I'm telling you, when I came home, I needed to heal. I needed to heal my mind, my body, my spirit. My soul is always good, but my mind, my body, my spirit was broken. Now I can tell you I'm a work in progress, but this is a good progress, okay? I'm happy here. I'm healthy. <laughs> I'm at peace. The peace that transcends all understanding. I'm at peace. And most of all, I'm loved. Deeply loved. And I can feel the love. So what's better? I'm happy here. So I will come to the USA for a visit. Short visit. And I will come back because this is home. And this is the right time for me. So it's right for me. It's working for me because it's the right time for me. If I had done it any earlier, it wouldn't have worked. I'm sure I've tried. I have tried early on to do it. It didn't work. So now is the best time for me. My last daughter is 20. Okay? I got grandchildren now. My children with children take care of their, their grandchildren. I'll come visit them, kiss them, show them love. Yeah, I'll come live my best life. And I'm living my best life. I take advantage of everything. I'm living simply. I'm appreciating friendship, good friendship. You know, I keep talking about that friendship thing, eh? You better find good friends, so. <laughs> I'm appreciating friendship, good relationship, solid relationship, not the superficial ones. I'm looking at you. Yes, you. <laughs> so really, 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 it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been the best decision just to move back home. People are like, why this time? But what other time? There's always something going on. If I don't move now, when? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm here now. Um, I thank you all. I thank you all for subscribing to my channel, for watching my journey. I appreciate y'all. I make this so that y'all can see Liberia through my eyes. So y'all won't be fed with all the... Um, y'all won't be fed with all the misinformation. So y'all won't see all the negativity all the time from your country. I, I'm here to just showcase the positive aspects of Liberia. Other countries... They know how to brand themselves. Let me take a sip for this one. Other countries, they know how to brand themselves. They sell themselves to you to the point that you forget your own country. USA, to be exact. USA is a very good advertiser. When other people finish advertising their country, they say, oh my God, the best country on earth. Okay, they got good parts of it. But then when you see some things, you're like, huh? Yeah, really? Okay. So, there's no there's no perfect country that's what i say there's no perfect country you just gotta find your little imperfect where you can deal with where you can't deal with and then unless you you just you just live so liberia is my own imperfect country and it's my own country it's not perfect don't get me wrong i'm not delusional to tell you say oh liberia is all glory 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 there are challenges here but i'd rather deal with the challenges here than challenges somewhere that's not my country i don't want to be somewhere where i'm just tolerated I'm not accepted. I want somewhere where I'm accepted and I'm embraced. I don't want to be somewhere where someone just tolerate me because, okay, you, you're there, so you may as well just, you know, 
you know, you may as well, you're already there. No, I want to be someone say, oh, welcome. We are glad to have you. We love to have you. That's where I want to be. And that's where I am. So I thank you for watching. I hope I answer your questions. There'll be more Q&A's when I'm ready. When I'm good and ready. All right. Until next time, be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing to others. Cheers. It's been a, it's been my pleasure. Bye bye.